hi welcome to Philan girl talk i'm going to share with you four points why young women can't rush into marriage four reasons why young women can't rush into marriage and if you're new to my channel please subscribe click on the notification bell so you're the first to watch all my new videos and this girl talk is to help you build great relationship so you grow happy with the person you love i'm going to make it very short okay Four reasons why young women can't rush into marriage and I understand you so want to get married because all your friends are getting married and you don't want to be the only one who is not married yet among your friends and so you're so rushing you want to get married but you should know that marriage is not all about ma ma getting married okay marriage is not about the wedding day like the big wedding day the, the bridesmaid the gun the, the huge crowd you're gonna have and all that marriage is about a whole lot it comes with a whole lot of responsibilities which says you should prepare for these kind of responsibilities okay and it's not all about the wedding day because marriage is beyond that marriage is beyond the wedding day and i always say this that marriage depends on the wife a lot okay whether your marriage work out or not it will depend on you the wife okay because women or wives have a whole lot of responsibilities to play in the marriage okay the domestic duties and all that and we now have high rates of divorce because a young of a lot of young women are not prepared or not ready to compromise with the things that comes with marriage they just want to marry and do their own things have their own way and all that but it doesn't work that way okay so four points or four reasons why young women can rush into marriage one is you have to know that marriage comes with responsibilities okay marriage comes with responsibilities like cooking washing cleaning the house taking care of kids managing the whole house and all that if you don't know how to cook if you don't know how to wash if you if you can't clean the house or if you can't scrub your house clean your house that means you're not ready you have to go back home and learn that from your mother that is very good you don't have to rush into anything no one is is, is no one is pushing you no one is running after you you have to take your time because since I tell you, you can't go through that stress you can't afford you know getting married and getting divorced it, it's very horrible you, you 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 can't imagine you can't afford it okay so you should relax you know plan yourself very well before you get in or you go in for marriage okay point number two you can be going out with friends just like you used to do before okay you can't just be going out with friends like you used to do when you were single that is very simple now that you're married you have to stay at home okay because you have a, a whole lot of responsibilities to perform like cooking washing um, taking care of kids managing the house cleaning and all that it's a whole lot but so you can get time for other 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 stuff like friends and all that cut them off now your kids and your uh, your kids and your husband are your friends okay because you can't manage these things you can't you can't add friendship to to your marriage because you have a, a whole lot of responsibilities to perform in your marriage you have a lot to do in your marriage you can you can't add friends to it okay because friends who call you let's go for party let's do this let's go here and all that if you do that you you, you won't have time for your marriage and no wife can afford that okay if you are a wife you have to take care of your home okay you can't be doing friends your husband can go out meet the, meet his friends but you can't your husband can uh, your husband can go out meet friends after work but you cannot because after work you have to come home and cook for the family that's it that is your duty and you have to obey it you have to perform that duty that is it point number three your lifestyle changes okay when you get married a whole lot of things have to change in your life okay you can you, you should know the type of clothes you wear um you, you can you can be going out for club and all that okay you can be going out for parties with friends and all that you should know how to manage yourself for instance if you're type that likes sh wearing short dress outside um like skimpy dresses and you know having your own way and all that that kind of lifestyle you know that independent life and all that no you can do that in your marriage because you're married and you're supposed to compromise you're supposed to change certain way of life that you used to lead when you were single okay so, so 
like the type of clothes you wear you can't just wear any clothes to meet your in-law if you want to go visit your in-laws you know this the kind of clothes you wear unlike when you were single no one will instruct you you used to wear whatever you, you want to wear and all that but now that you're married you should check yourself okay if you wear something and what and your husband tells you this is not cool okay this doesn't suit a wife you should listen and change it because i told you that you can't just wear anything you can't have your way you can't your lifestyle must change to suit your marriage okay that is very simple so you can wear short dresses in in the house to 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 attract your wife or to uh, to attract your husband or to look sexy to your husband but you can't wear them out because you're a wife and your kids are looking up to you and you should change your lifestyle me for instance I, I love to do have my own way like you know dress anyhow I want I don't I don't like long hair I don't I don't like hair I, I always cut my hair off but if I get married and my husband want me to wear wigs and braids my my hair and all that though I can't imagine me in wigs and all that but I have to compromise because I'm married okay so I have to leave my life to suit my marriage okay that way my marriage is going to work out because you can afford to get uh, to to go through divorce because that's very horrible so you should do things that will help your marriage to work out and these are the things i've just told you last is you have to work to support your husband financially because you can leave everything on your you, you can leave all on your husband your husband can pay school fees buy household um what is it food stuff for the house um the petty petty things you need to buy you can just leave them all to your husband that is why as a wife you have to work to support your husband if you think you can't work then you are not ready to get married because if you marry you need to support your husband financially financially okay you can just be there so if you were not working before you got married you were you you weren't working when you were single now that you're married you should look for something to do look for some kind of job to do because now you have responsibility you have to support your husband take care of the house okay you have to support your husband to take care of the house financially that is very very important if you don't know how to support your husband if you, if you don't like to if, if you don't want to work if you don't like to work if you're a lazy type you can't marry because you have to work to support your husband financially that will help your marriage to be successful or that will help your marriage to work out since you have to go through these points that i've just given you if you're able to compromise these things that i think you are ready but if you are not that then relax okay no one is pushing you no one is running after you you have your own time just remember that you are not marrying to make anybody happy or you are not marrying for anybody you just marrying for yourself so know when the right time is when you're okay when you're ready when you're comfortable for that marriage before you get married it doesn't matter how how serious that guy is how serious he want to get married to you says if you're not ready tell him i'm not ready and if if he loves you he's gonna wait for you because marriage is not all about getting married okay it's a whole lot it involves a whole lot so that man should be should should have patience to wait for you for you to you know adjust yourself check yourself out see to it that you're ready and you're prepared for the responsibilities or the things that comes with married if you're new to my channel please subscribe click on the notification bell so you do friends to watch all my new videos i tell you don't miss my shows because it's going to help you build great relationships so you grow happy with the one you love. Bye-bye.